Hello and welcome to Webdem Mentors YouTube channel and you are watching Programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we are going to see about loops in Java. Loops are used to execute a block of code several number of times. And you may need it when you want to do some work till you arrive at the condition or the completion of the work. So you might have a situation where you want to write three lines of code and you want that three lines of code to be executed ten times. And Copy pasting those three lines of code 10 times giving you 30 lines of code is not the best practice as a programmer you should follow. That's where you can use a loop which is going to loop through 10 times those three lines of code and reduce the time for you to type those codes or copy paste those codes. So there are three different loops available in Java that you can use and they are while loop, do while loop, for loop. So for loop has an enhanced for loop that came after the Java SE 5.0 which is JDK 1.5 and you can use that in order to handle arrays in the Java looping concepts and let's see each of these loops in detail while loop while loop can be used to repeat a task certain number of times or till a certain condition is true so this is going to be very useful when you want to execute a certain number of statements or execute a certain set of codes and you want to do it a certain number of times. For example, you want to do it till 20 times or 30 times or till a condition becomes false. So the task inside the loop will execute again and again as long as the condition returns true. So when it returns false, that loop will break off and it goes to the next line after the loop is closed. So the loop might not run even once if the condition is false at the initial stage itself. So when it goes to the while loop, if the condition is giving false as the value, then this loop will never run, not even once. So what happens when you want to actually execute the loop at least once just before the loop checks for the condition? And that's where you use do while loop. Do while loop is pretty much exactly similar like while loop, but it gives you an option or an extra feature that you can execute that loop once before checking for the condition. So while loop will check for the condition but before that the loop will be executing at least once. So you have a statement or you have a segment of code that you want to execute once before actually checking for a condition and breaking off if the condition is returning false but if it returns true then execute the same block of code again and again till it returns false. So when you require something to be done once before continuing it a loop, then you need do while loop. So the final loop mechanism that is available in Java is the for loop. For loop is used to repeat certain code segment specific number of times. So if you have a set of codes or a segment of code that you want to execute for 10 times or less than 10 times or exactly to 9 times or 8 times and you want that to be counted, then for loop is the best loop for you. And it requires you to initialize a variable which is executed first and only once. So in the for loop, you have to first declare a variable which you are going to use as the counting variable. So it's going to count you how many times this loop is run down or it's going to hold the variable in which you are going to work the condition for the loop. So and then it's required you to specify a condition to check for. So if you want uh, the loop to run for 10 times, you're going to actually check if that particular number is less than 10 or exactly similar to 10. That, that is where the condition will be checked. And finally, you have to specify an update statement which will be executed only after the loop is executed once. So unless the loop is executed, this update statement will not run. So the for loop will start with an installation of variable which is going to execute only once at the initial part of the start of the loop and then we come to the condition check which will be checked every time a loop is completed and the update statement will be run only after the loop is completed. So to put together the initialize statement is going to work only once that too at the start of the loop first time and it will not be touched ever again and the condition check will be done at the beginning of each time the loop is started. So it's going to check for the condition and then if it's true then it's going to carry out the execution part of the body of the loop and it's going to come back to the update statement once the body of the loop is executed successfully. So this loop will run till the condition becomes false. 
and then we go into the enhance follow so it's pretty much similar to the follow only thing is that it's going to be used for arrays so it is mainly used with arrays so instead of using the loops with the numbers specified by yourself we're going to run the loop or run the for loop for the number of elements in an array so if you have an array that has 10 elements then this small loop enhance for loop will run 10 times till the array runs out so this enhanced for loop requires you to declare two things that is the declaration which is going to be the variable in which you're going to store each element of the array and then an expression which is going to be the array itself or if you can check if there is an another element in the array after this for loop is executed once then that is going to be the expression that you want to use so that actually ends the loops in java thank you for watching this video i hope it was useful if you find this video useful please hit the like button also share it with your friends and family it helps us a lot and also subscribe to the channel and share the channel with your friends if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks please feel free to share it in the comment section of this video or on the google plus page facebook page or twitter feed and you can also contact me personally through the social links that is available in the description section of this video thank you for watching this video have a great day